Hi everyone, Jordan Smith from Rapido Trains and I'm back again for another unboxing video. So starting off, we've got our all new HO scale F30 class flat cars. These are uh, were built by the Pennsylvania Railroad and we've got several different versions and body styles. So I've got the uh, box here. This is actually the Penn Central car. So good for 1970s modelers. Nice uh, compact little box. So why don't we open it up and have a look? Slide the model out there. Clamshell design. We've got our instruction manual. We'll pull that out. Just a quick little guide, a little bit of information on the car, and we've got the uh, exploded diagram. Now there's three different versions, so you've got the diagrams for all three uh, on the uh, instructions. So next we've got the car. Pull the top clamshell off. Just pops right out there. Take off the plastic wrap. And there we go. There is uh, the Penn Central F30 flat car. There's actually two different series that we did. There's the F30A series flat cars, which were built in the uh, early 1930s, 1933, 1934. And we've also got the F30D. These were a later series uh, that Pennsylvania built in the early 1950s, around 53, 54. So having a look at the models here, while well, starting off, we've got the basic uh, F30A cars. We've got them in Penn Central. I've got uh, various Pennsylvania Railroad versions as delivered, later uh, repaints for the, uh, for the 1950s. So these are really neat models. Uh, one of the things that we've actually done with these, uh, we've built them almost entirely out of die cast metal. So the chassis, the frame, all of that is die cast and also the deck inserts are all die cast pieces. So that gives you a lot of, uh, a lot of heft, a lot of weight, uh, gives it a good quality feeling. Um, got metal grab irons, stirrup steps on the end of the car, those are metal as well separate brake wheels. Uh, there's a couple different versions of brake wheel, either the high brake wheel or the lower brake wheels. So here's our Pennsylvania truck train uh, piggyback flat. This is the original version. Uh, the cars were originally built as flats in 51. Uh, these ones were rebuilt and repainted in 54 for uh, truck train service. I'm hoping I'm getting that right. If I'm not, please put it in the comments and I will hear about it later. So as you can see, we've got some pretty specific uh, interesting detail here. We've got the drop plates for offloading and loading the, the trailers, the kind of guard rails to keep them in line, as well as the side stakes on the side of the car. So later on, when trailer train picked them up, they were rebuilt again. So these were, uh, this is a 1962 uh, rebuild. Um, again, an F30D built in 1950. You can see some of the changes that trailer train did. You've got the new rebuilt side plates, the railings along the top of the deck. You've got a slightly different version of the drop plates for loading and offloading and the hitch mount for holding your trailer in place. These also have the retrofit roller bearing trucks, but we also give you the full roller bearings for the, because uh, some of these cars lasted well into the 1970s and 80s. If you want a more modern roller bearing truck for your model. Of course, there's all the underbody detail that we've included, including that really neat kind of oval center sill cutout design. It's very interesting. Of course, we have the later trailer train version. We've seen photos of these as late as like 1986, 1987. They had roller bearing trucks. Again, all the same detail as the 1960s repaints and rebuilds. We also give you in a separate package, the COTS lube stencils. These are a separate plate. You can just position them and glue them onto the side of the, uh, the sill or wherever you'd like to put them. So that is the F30 flat cars, F30As and F30Ds. Oh, one more, can't forget these. This is Conrail, Conrail MOW. These actually lasted into service right through the Conrail era and lasted into NS. They might still be out there, a couple of them as camp cars. So these are great if you are modeling kind of any time in Conrail or uh, into, uh, into NS. So here we have the production samples of our PCNF B140 series 50 foot 7 inch box cars. <laughs> Finally today, we have the production samples of our all new HO scale X31 Pennsylvania Railroad boxcars. These are very distinctive with their wagon top roofs. I'm just gonna give you a quick look at them right now because Bill actually did uh, an overview of these not too long ago. And if you wanna watch that video, just uh, click up in the corner right here. But uh, in the meantime, let's have a look at these samples. I've already opened two of the single door cars up and this is the double door. Uh, this is the uh, early Keystone, uh, Shadow Keystone. Pop off the lid there. Again, we've got our instruction manual, kind of a guide to the cars, plus the exploded parts diagram on the back. 
put that aside. Take that out of the box there. Uh, we've also got some additional details on the inside. So if you, uh, if you want to change the brake wheel, there's an alternate brake wheel and a brake rod uh, version that comes with these cars. So there we go. There is the double door. Again, you can see we've got separate ladders, separate grab irons, full underbody detailing. We've got this unique uh, truck that Bill could probably tell you more about than I could. These were built in the 1930s, but many of them lasted into the 19, uh, late 1960s, even probably some of them into the early 70s, although I'm sure they didn't last much longer than that. So these are really neat. Um, lots of cool detail. Airlines, coupler cut bars, all separately applied. We may have stock of some of these models still, so just double check on our website. You can order direct there if they are still available. Otherwise, please see your, your dealer or online retailer and, uh, and pick these cars up while they last. Uh, so... Thanks so much for joining me. This has been a very quick unboxing video. Uh, we will see you again in the not too distant future with a bunch of new products. See you later.